Hello at what's up sa mga manonood dyan uh, Ito ang kauna-una ang video na Tagalog At asahan nyo rin na sa susunod ay magkakaroon pa lalo ng Tagalog na video Ngayon ay meron ako naisip na proyekto At ito ay ang gumawa ng Spotlight So madalas kasi uh, pag gumagawa ako sa gabi Kung mapapansin nyo na sa camera may mga kapapansin kayo parang grainy Tapos ang pangit kasi mahina yung ilaw So Kapag gumagawa tayo sa kotse, madalas ang ginagamit natin ay flashlight. O kaya naman, yung cellphone. So, minsan meron kang tagahawak ng ilaw. Kung minsan naman ikaw lang sa sarili mo, tsaka kaya dahil doon, resulta nun pangit. Yung mga mabibilin natin sa hardware na spotlight ay may kamahalan. So, kaya naisip ko na gumawa na lang sa sarili ko na kapag napun dito ay pwede ko pa siya mapalitan. Ang spotlight na gagawin natin ay gagamitan natin ng... Uh, LED na bumbilya. So, yung presyo na mabibili natin ay halos or less sa nabibili na gawa na na spotlight. Ang kaganda kasi na ito ay kapag ang isang bumbilya ay napundi, pwede mo siya palitan. Gagawa tayo ngayon ng spotlight na gawa sa limang bumbilya na LED. Yung limang bumbilya na LED, lalagay natin sa kahoy. Tapos, lalapatan natin to ng parang foil na nabibili sa ano sa National Bookstore. Tapos yun yung magsisilbing reflector niya para mas malakas yung ilaw na lalabas doon. Yung spotlight na gagawin natin ay very customizable. Kasi dito pwedeng kahit iba't ibang kulay ang gusto mong ilagay. Like for example, ang gusto mo ay puti yung isang LED at yung isa naman ay dilaw. So, kumbaga, depende na yun sa yung preference. Depende rin naman sa iyo kung anong gusto mong lakas. Dahil may iba't iba tayong choices Like for example, uh, gusto ko ay 5 watts O kaya naman 12 watts Siyempre, the more na mas mataas yung wattage niya The more na mas malakas yung output niya At saka kaya LED ang gagamitin natin Is kasi para matipid siya sa kuryente Ito naman ay may maraming paggagamitan Hindi lamang sa paggawa ng kotse Kundi rin sa iba't ibang activity Tulad ng paggawa ng iba't ibang gamit O kaya kahit saan pa sa bahay mo gamitin Tsaka, hindi lang to yung kailangan mo ng tao na may tigahawak. Tulad nung flashlight na kailangan, may tigahawak yan para lang matulungan ka. Yun kasi, pwede mong isabit o kaya naman may nakastand siya sa isa tabi. Ang magagastos natin sa spotlight ay halos same lang naman dun sa nabibli na yarina. So, depende pa rin yan sa'yo kung magkano yung gagastos mo dahil kung ang gusto mo ba ay maraming LED o kaya depende rin niya kung saan ka bibili. Siyempre, kung mas mataas ang wattage, mas mahal siya. Tsaka kung mas marami naman, mas mahal din. So ano nga bang pinagkaibahan nito sa nabibiling spotlight at saka dito sa gagawin natin spotlight? Ang kaganda kasi nito, kapag yung sa atin kasi may isang bumbilya na pundi, pwede mo siyang palitan. Unlike nung yarina na naka-fix, naka-enclose sa loob, kapag yun ay sira, kailangan mo na siyang palitan ng panibagong spotlight. Or, baklasin mo at ayusin mo yung mismong LED. Kung baga, hassle siya. In the long run, mas makakatipid ka pa rin dito sa gagawin nating spotlight. Kasi, as long as pinapalitan mo yung bumbilya na napupundi, okay pa rin siya. So, ano pa ba hinihintay natin? Tara, at ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano gagawin yung spotlight. So guys, ang pinakaunang kailangan nating uh, gamit ay ang kahoy. Kasi ito magiging base mismo ng ating Uh, spotlight. So choice mo niyo kung gusto mo bumili ng kahoy sa hardware store o kaya kahit saan, kahit anong shop. Siyempre, dahil dun ma mas papagasas ka, di ba? So ang second choice natin ay eh, tumingin sa paligid. Siyempre, dito sa drop project, eh, resourceful tayo. Hindi lang tayo basta bumibili ng mga gamit dyan kasi nakikita natin na meron pa maaaring paraan o kaya solusyon na maaaring magpagana sa bagay na yun. At dahil doon, alam natin na sure tayo doon sa quality na ginagawa natin. Kasi alam natin kung paano siya nabuo at ano yung ginamit natin doon. So nabanggit ko sa inyo kung bakit tayo titingin sa paligid ng bahay. Kasi common sa Pilipinas kasi na, for example, meron ang kapitbahay na ginagawa ang bahay. Madalas may kita mo, may mga nakatambak na kahoy dyan, semento at iba pa. So pwede mo natin gamitin yung mga ganung gamit.
Here are the tools that you're gonna need. LED bulbs. Here's the bulb socket. These units are fairly cheap and it comes with screws. Here are the two wires applicable for 220 volts. Be sure to have the right wire for the specific voltage of your outlet. A scrap wood for the base of the spotlight. A glue, cutter, scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, multi-tool, this is optional. A pencil or anything used for marking measurements. Soldering rod with lead, electrical outlet socket plug, electrical tape, a silver step foil paper. This will serve as a reflector for the spotlight. First, I will make an orientation to use it as a guide. You can use an L-square ruler for measurements. You can also use anything like ruler and etc. Once you set the measurements, mark the socket with a pencil. Here I wrote an X as a guide for drilling the board. It's a good idea to poke the board with a nail for easier drilling process. Before I start drilling, put the wood underneath the board to prevent from damaging the floor. After drilling, make sure that each holes are smooth. It shouldn't have sharp edges. You can use a knife, sandpaper, or file for removing sharp edges. Lay down the foil, measure it, and start cutting. Put an adequate amount of glue to the surface. Here's a tip. It is better to spread the glue before putting down the foil for a greater finish. I realized that after this process. You can use a piece of cloth and a card to spread the glue. Cut the excess foil around the board. Measure the socket's formation to determine each spot. You will notice where the foil should be cut. This is where the wires will pass. I use a soldering rod to create a hole. If you will do the same thing, be sure to clean the tip of the soldering rod after using it. This will be the main wire or the source for all sub wires. Here is an orientation on how the wires will be placed. Splice each wire with a cutter. Roll the ends for a solid mounting. The wires will be inserted opposite to each other so that the wires will be straight. Push the excess wire around the mounting. Just a safety reminder, the red wire will be put on the positive side which is the gold contact point. The black wire is the ground which is the silver thread. Do this to prevent confusion since we will put the wires in series. Insert each socket to its designated place. Splice the main wire and connect it to the sub wires. I will be using this electrical outlet plug. So remove the cover and loosen the two screws of the contact points. Roll the ends of the wires and lock it to its screws. This setup is secure and stable.
tighten the screws of the cover. I've soldered the wires for a strong connection. Then, I will put some electrical tape. Next is to create a handle for the spotlight. But before that, let's test the lights first. In order to prevent the wires from being tangled, I will use an insulated C-pin for keeping the wiring harness. Just tap it with a hammer to keep it in place. Now I'll put some bolts each side and this will act as an holder for the handle which is a steel wire. It is also a good idea to tap the bolt with a hammer to keep it in place. After that, tighten it with a screwdriver. Grab a steel wire and cut it into this shape. Use a pliers to mold the wires into the ends of the bolt. Make sure that these are secure. This piece of wood will be used as a stand for the spotlight. I will cut it in the middle so that it can be folded. Next is to put a hinge so that it will be foldable. I use a little rubber as a spacer made out of slippers. It is necessary to prevent the screws from reaching out the board. This will serve as the base of the stand. This is to avoid the stand from touching the wires. This is the result when everything is connected. I will use a curtain bracket that will serve as a mounting point for the handle. Just repeat the process. One thing I realized is that the stand is not stable. Therefore, I need to use a bracket to lock it in place. Next is to create a shroud or reflector of the spotlight. I will use this cardboard as an enclosure. Measure it according to the size of the board and glue it in place. I will use an aluminum foil paper for the reflector. Measure it and cut it. Put some glue onto the cardboard and spread it. Next, paste the aluminum foil paper onto the board. 
Grab a card and a piece of cloth to use it as a spreader. After that, it's time to install it onto the spotlight. I will use a thumbtacks to secure the shroud. Upon installation, gaps around the board will be removed. You can use anything to push the thumbtacks. Final step is to cover the thumbtacks with tape to keep it in place. And here's the result of the finished spotlight. I hope you appreciate and find this video helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.